Europe is the second smallest of the Earth's continents, occupying a little less than 7% of its total land area. Europe is a land where forests and farm fields abound. It's home to around 745 million people, or roughly 11% of the Earth's total population. The European continent consists of the westernmost portion of the huge landmass known as Eurasia, which it shares with the continent of Asia. The mainland of Europe is bordered to the south by the Mediterranean Sea, the Black Sea, and the Caspian Sea. It's bounded by the Arctic Ocean to the north and by the Atlantic Ocean to the west. Europe's long boundary with Asia traditionally is said to be made up of the Ural Mountains, the Caucasus Mountains, and the Turkish Straits that link the Black Sea to the Mediterranean. Several large islands, such as Great Britain, Ireland, and Iceland, are considered to be part of Europe as well. Even far distant Greenland is linked culturally and politically to Europe. Historically, Europe's cultural influence worldwide has been quite great. This is due to the fact that hundreds of years ago, certain powerful European nations carried out intensive programs of world exploration that led to their colonization of far distant lands. Because of their colonies, many aspects of European culture, including legal systems, languages, religions, art, architecture, and even ways of dress were introduced to countries all around the world. Today, the territory of the European continent is divided up into 50 independent nations in which more than 100 native languages are spoken. In Europe, almost all of its governments are democratic republics or constitutional monarchies. Christianity is by far the predominant faith in Europe and has profoundly influenced its thought and culture for well over a thousand years. Most of the countries in the southwestern parts of Europe have deep roots in the Roman Catholic Church, which is headquartered in Rome in the Vatican City. While in northern Europe, a large number of people are Protestants. In the more eastern parts of the continent, many belong to the Eastern Orthodox Catholic Church. A few of Europe's Balkan Peninsula nations, such as Albania, seen here, have Muslim-majority populations. Geographically, Europe's western and southern regions abound with mountainous and hilly terrain, and most of these lands are heavily forested. The Alps, which stretch across eight different countries, are the continent's most extensive and tallest range of mountains. With the exception of the lower elevation mountain ranges of Scandinavia, Poland, and Slovakia, the majority of northern and eastern Europe consists of fairly flat plains, most of which are used for farming. Climatically, Europe receives a fairly significant amount of precipitation, and that's why the continent has so many large navigable rivers, and why it lacks any real deserts. A small percentage of Europe extends above the Arctic Circle, but most of its territory lies in the temperate zone. As a result, for the most part, the European climate is relatively mild. Nearer the Mediterranean Sea, the European climate is much warmer than in the north. However, further away from its coasts, in the continent's interior regions, more extreme temperature variations can occur most notably during the winter months when icy continental air masses move down from the north. <laughs>